Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna be talking about Zillow doing a 3D home tour and uh, Virginia is gonna be doing around doing the scans and I'll explain the best way to use the 360 camera, places to set it up and... Uh... I don't really like fun. <laughs> <laughs> With that being said, before you get started, make sure you get the lights on, fans off, open all the blinds because it is just like taking real estate photos you want the house to look good to go because people are getting the 360 view. Once you have the interior set up, you want to come out to the front and set up your camera where it'll get a good shot. Uh, you could go out to there if you wanted to be that far, but I usually start here at the entrance. This one has a pretty nice little pathway, so I'm going to do a scan here and then a scan there and then go inside. I'll leave the doors closed because Zillow will be able to link it to the inside. If not, we can make it link. Now that we have the Zillow app open, you select new media. And then from there, make sure you use virtual tour and floor plan. You can always hide the floor plan later. Uh, single family or apartment, you just go through these options. It's pretty self-explanatory. What area you're starting in, what floor, etc. And remember, you can always hide the floor plan later and you can't go back or you can't add a floor plan later, so you might as well add it now. So yes, this is all above ground level. Then you select new room, and then from there, it'll open up the 360 cameras view. You can see what it's looking at, and you go and take the picture. And once this message comes up, pretty much when you hear it beep, you can walk to the camera and take it to the next spot. So after we take this scan, we'll call these two scans entrance and since this one has a door that goes in the garage there and the door that goes into the foyer we'll do another scan here but I came in this door and I'm just gonna go all the way to here to get the scan in here I don't need to walk it I'll show you how to make this link when the tour is up with and since this is a new area, be sure to select new room or area, not same room. Okay, then I went from the garage straight to here. I don't have to worry about walking or anything. Doors are closed. I always make sure the back is towards the way I don't wanna see and then the front is towards what you do wanna see makes it uh, easier when you're walking through on the Zillow tour. So we'll scan here. And from this scan on, you wanna be in line of sight. So we're gonna go from the foyer to the office. I never put my 360s right in the middle of a room because you wanna see as much as you can. I do a little bit closer to the door. That's a little controversial. Most people say go to the middle, but we'll do this one scan and then we'll move on. Now I went from that, I just realized the light is off. Makes a difference. So we're gonna redo those real quick, but first I'm gonna jump to here because there's no point in having other spots. From this one spot, I'll be able to go down to that hallway foyer, down to this hallway, living room, kitchen, dining room. So this one spot covers a lot of scans. So I'll focus here and then I'll go into these main rooms to get those scans and then I'll go down to the halls. Some order like that. So what's great about Zillow is you can go back to a scan that you had done open it up, make sure it's the right one. Then you can click those three dots at the top and you can retake that panorama. You don't have to delete and then reshoot or anything like that. You just retake it and it puts it back into the name, room name and location that it was in. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the office. And then we'll continue on with the other scans after that.
So since we called this one dining room, we're going to continue doing any scans in the dining room. That way we're not having to rename, relabel different sections. So this will be dining room also. So did one there, living room. Gonna go here, living room again. And then I'll call the rest of these kitchen. Probably even call this one kitchen because it's the eat-in kitchen section. So you can always change labels later if it doesn't make sense when you're putting it together, but that's what we're doing. Now we're gonna go into the pantry mostly so it can help with the floor plan measurements. If you don't do the pantry, uh, they usually do get it in the floor plan anyway, but I think any extra helps. So, but we will hide that one from the tour. Now you can see where that was named a pantry and then Virginia went back and selected kitchen again to do the next scan. And then you can see the height of the camera. That is ideal height when you're doing scans. You want to be pretty much right where the kitchen cabinets are. You don't want to be too low where you see under them, but you don't want to be too high either. And if you do real estate photography, you know this is a great height. And it's also a great height for your virtual tours. So I did in the middle there because that's nice to see the stove, sink and stuff. And then I'm just going to do one here. That'll get this dining area, this side of the kitchen, and also give us an arrow to go outside. So I don't need to do extra scans. This one will satisfy anybody looking. They can see everything from this one scan that they would want to see. So saves time and you don't have to hide stuff later. So you can see the Rico Theta out there. I was here, then I went all the way out there with the door closed. And I did this scan for the back patio. So for this house, this one scan is good enough because I get the patio and I get the backyard. If this had a pool, uh, let's say there was an outdoor kitchen, I would take and do a scan over there. And then I'd go over by the pool, do a scan over there because you can put those together and build a nice tour. So to keep with the line of sight theme, I went to there. So that way from these cans in here, they know where this direction goes. And then I'm going to go here so I can go into the master bedroom or the master bathroom. Clear? So I'm calling all this primary bedroom. So I went from there, but I'm just going to do this one shot showing the whole room. I think showing that is better than if we put this in the middle, he'd be right there. Just my personal opinion again. All right, clear. Okay, we only need one scan in here. It is in line of sight of the previous scan there. And it'll go to the master closet. And I set it up so it is nice to look at. Be nice, sink everything from this angle and you see all the shower, the tub, and everything from that angle. So it's a great one shot. Then once again, not necessarily needed, but it makes it easier for them to build the floor plan. I'm gonna do one more scan in the primary bathroom of the toilet, but we're gonna hide it later. So this will be a new room hallway. So I'm putting it here. So I'll be able to get this bathroom, bedroom, laundry room, 
I'll leave the door closed. Garage. Okay, put that in the garage. We'll just use this for the floor plan. We will not include this in our tour. But we're in line of sight from that spot there and I wanted to go right to the hallway. Now, depending if you wanted people to see this angle, I might do one more scan here just to have the option later, but I'll come back to the scan. And while I'm building the tour, I'll see which way I want to handle this part. So I went from here, breaking the line of sight rule. I'll explain why when we're building the tour. Okay, we were here, then in that bedroom. Now we're gonna go there so we can go to the bathroom and the bedroom. <laughs> is that, is, is that easy? So now once these all turn green, we're going to download it. download it. So back to the screen recording. So we're gonna turn off the lights and do not uh, attach it to a property until you're done editing with it. So don't put a name on it or anything, just upload it. Don't attach it to an address because it automatically gets connected to addresses. And if you're not done with it, uh, it'll be unprofessional when it gets to them. And once everything is green up on the top right, you click finish. You don't want to connect it to your Zillow listing yet, unless the agent needs it right away. You want to be able to edit and double check it for now. So we'll skip it. As I'm finishing up this edit, I realize it's becoming kind of a long video. So this will be a part one of two. If you made it this far and you do want to see part two, make sure you like, subscribe and hit that bell notification. So you get the second part when it comes out subscribing helps me more than you know. I appreciate it. Have a great day.